Hi everyone, my name is Bruce Schwartz. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for subscribing and connecting everyone. We're finding structures on the surface of the moon. It's been a while now, but even better than that, alien life. It has to be. Creatures, <laughs> clouds, UFOs, you name it. They're all here on the channel. Those just arriving, please take the time to do so to check them out. Thanks a lot. And I hope you enjoyed the channel. And this video, of course, will be zooming in. We are going to zoom into Mons Argeus. And now the line of light is there. So when we get there, it's beside Mare Serenitatis. You're going to see the amazing Ryle, this long line inside of Mare Serenitatis, which is almost never seen unless that line of light is there. What do I mean by the line of light? I'm talking about the line of light and darkness. When the moon phase mo moves over, you know, we see the crescent moon and then that black line moves over to uh, unveil more of the moon. Well, watch what Mons Argeus looks like um, with that line of light there. All the structuring, very similar to what I show when I show the x-ray processing. Now, another thing, hologram. Yeah, it looks like a television set, doesn't it? Well, I would never rule any of that out. And I find it very interesting, the, the theory of that. And could it be that, you know, the UFOs are landing. So if they're landing, they're landing obviously under the veil and it would explain maybe why, just theoretically speaking, hypothetically speaking, why they are disappearing or vanishing like thin air. Atmosphere, cloud, there it is. And look at this. There, I got a circle up on it. This is thousands of feet up into the air. I've never actually ever seen it before or noticed it. The line of light is right there and look at all the detail that it's showing, but look how different Mons Argeus is compared to when the line of light is not there.
So for those just arriving, and this is your first video watching me, I've found UFOs that are at ground level on the surface of the moon, and I've understood why we're seeing some structures higher on certain occasions. It's not the occasion, it's the line of light. That line of light's showing us the structures on the surface. Here's an anomaly. Look how round that crater is down there on the left. Hmm. This is just uh, Kepler's on the right, Kepler crater over there. But see how round it is? You know, some of these craters, they don't look like craters. Would they not be cone-shaped if meteors had actually hit? They're all like overhead holes.